Hello, friends and followers. So what is before you right now is a Joe Bachelor broadband coil for 20 meters for the Central Electronics 100B transmitter that I'm trying to finish up and get it back in its case. So until everything's finished, I really can't put it back in its case, but I would like it to be done. I don't think I'll ever get the power supply figured out. I'll probably run this thing on a Variac forever. But anyway, besides all that, 20 meters doesn't work because this broadband coil is uh, fried out. It looks fried to me anyway, so I think an expert is going to take a look at it who knows these radios and who knew the founders. His name is, is, is uh, Dominic. So that's about it from here. doesn't look too good. I couldn't have any ohms between these two. These two points are open, no continuity. Um, I can get ohms on the thick wire here, but it looks like this part's open, and maybe when this opens up, it makes this short out. I don't know, but it sure is a mess. So it's going to be in better hands than me. Uh, from what Nick tells me, these need to have a network analyzer or worse to uh, figure them out. So. Yeah, if this bottom part needs rewound, that's beyond my capabilities. I could probably rewind the first top part by hand, but the bottom part, no way. So, let the experts figure it out, because they've done it before, and if you've done something before, it's easier. Anyway, I wanted to note that these broadband coils pull out. They're mounted on a plug socket, and... I didn't know that, so I go in tearing apart the socket. I took the socket out, and that was stupid on my part, but after looking at this for a while, I thought, wait a minute, that's a plug socket, and the coil pulls right out. So that's how these are mounted. They're on a plug socket, so you don't need to unsolder anything. Just pull off this wire and unplug it, and you're, the coil's out. So that's really nice. This thing is really maintainable. So I'm going to solder the plug socket back in here now that I know that I don't need to take it out and go on from there. So that's about it on the 20, the 100V transmitter. I'm probably never going to figure out my power supply, why it runs over, over voltage. I can use it the way it is on a uh, Variac, so I guess I don't care that much. Um, I had to put some resistors in here for the B+. Plus. When I first got this thing, the B+, plus was shorted somewhere with this metal. This metal thing, when I moved it right here, I got a short. So, and I really couldn't figure out what was, what was shorted. But I eventually put 12 volts and some high amps into here and blew the short out. So I'm not sure what was wrong with it, but the, the rig works. So whatever I did, it fixed it. Um, I put these resistors here in to get the Vox circuit working. There's a complicated voltage divider and those sort of fix that. I put in this resistor here to cure the bias on the finals. Probably should put a potentiometer here with a, uh, a way to access it. and. These two are 4.6 Ks. These run the B plus down in here, and these burned up because I had a short. So these were these were smoked, and I think I bought some 10 watt resistors from Mouser or somebody that are made by Vichy, and they wouldn't burn up. So that's what I did. Otherwise, this thing is working. I just want to get the uh, scope tube in it. The scope tube comes tomorrow, and get that in there. Get the uh, 20 meter broadband coil fixed and then I want to put it back in its case and use it. So the case is back there kind of buried, but I want to put it back in its case and maybe put it up here on the shelf where I can use it and straighten out all this junk. Get the room neatened up because right now there are broken radios galore and parts galore and I can't stand this room being a total mess. So I really want to fix things, clean things up, get things put back together and stacked, and that's it. Okay, that's my little video. I hope you enjoyed it. Have a great day and take care.